Hi everyone, this is Mike Doan, and I am principal owner of Term Management LLC, and we're a company that specializes in creating and managing taxonomies for enterprises. Today I want to talk about the social use of tags, how tags can be created by a user and shared across the entire enterprise, and also how tags that users create can be made part of a company's official taxonomy so the term can be controlled better and used in multiple places across across the enterprise. So let's say, for example, I'm creating a document called the CMS Vendor Evaluations document, pretty common document done in Word. I can go ahead and save that document and upload it into a, a document library like I've done here inside of SharePoint. It doesn't have to be SharePoint. Other systems allow you, of course, to upload and save documents and also to apply tags. But in this case, since I use SharePoint a lot, I'm going to show you how that works. So I can go ahead and select this document, Vendor Evaluations. And up in the right-hand corner here, I can click a button called Tags and Notes. And what Tags and Notes means is that as a user, I can add a tag to this document. And that tag will be included in search. So if someone does a search for the document or they do a search for the tag I apply, they'll be able to find that document, even though that tag might not be in the document. Let me show you what I mean by that. So I'll go ahead and I'll click on tag here and I want to add a tag. And notice this is one of my tags. As a user, I'm just independently adding this tag. So I think this document is about a content management system, but I want to tag it CMS. So as I start to type here, you can see a lot of choices I'm given for other terms that are in other taxonomies here. But notice as more I type, the fewer terms are available. And I'm noticing that CMS, the term I want to add, is not here. So I'm going to go ahead and click Save here, and that will add CMS as a tag to the system so others can use that same tag CMS. So let's go take a look at how that results inside of the SharePoint taxonomy tool. So the SharePoint taxonomy tool, and I've talked about this before, it's called the term store. So you can see a lot of different taxonomies that I've built out over time. What I want to show you though is, and I'll refresh this, what I want to show you that is on the bottom of this list of taxonomies is what's called system. It's a folder called system that's called a term group in the term store here we can see keywords and that's a term set and inside keywords these are terms that users have entered that are not in any of the taxonomies and you saw when I did the drop down you saw a lot of choices there and you also saw CMS wasn't a choice what that means is that there's no taxonomies up here that have the term CMS so here you can see it's been added again these are called enterprise keywords in SharePoint and these keywords are added by users. I added CMS. It is available for tagging. Others can use it. But you know what? As a taxonomist in a company, I would regularly monitor these system keywords, these words that people are adding. In taxonomy terms, it's called a folksonomy term. It's a term that someone has added independent of the taxonomies. But I like this term. I think it's a good term, and I want to add it. So what I can do in the term store in SharePoint is move this keyword and really what that means is I'm going to promote the keyword to be an official keyword. And I'll just say I'll add it to the IT taxonomy to make this easy. I'll put CMS into that tag CMS into this IT taxonomy. Notice that CMS leaves from the keywords. It's no longer an enterprise keyword. And now it's going to appear underneath IT, which is great because as users start to add that tag CMS, they'll see that it relates to IT. And they'll say, oh, that's the tag I want to, I want to do. Uh, that will also avoid some confusion as to what CMS actually means. There's been cases where someone would add a tag like DBA, which could be interpreted a lot of different ways. It could be database administrator or it could be doing business as. But in this case, I can see that when from now on, if someone wants to add the tag CMS, it will show IT as its parent. And that way, they can say, yeah, that's what I mean, content management system CMS. So what I've done is I've taken a tag that was freely available for anyone in the system to use as long as it's enabled, the system enables you to add tags. And a user added a tag, I added the tag CMS. It appeared as a keyword, an enterprise keyword, which still means these are uncontrolled, these are not official, so to speak, and a lot of other CMS systems allow you to do this as well. And what I've done is I've promoted that enterprise keyword, that user-generated tag that, is so, that adds a social element to CMS, and I promoted it to an official term here. And typically what you can do to add more social relevance is to gather these keywords, either put them into taxonomies that already exist, or you can create new taxonomies from all these keywords that users have generated across the system and make them official taxonomies 
use and then you can use those across, of course, across all other uh, areas where your CMS is extended to. So again, what I've shown you today is how to take a document that's about a topic. In this case, it's about content management systems. I've gone over and I've added, I selected that document and I went up to tags. I've added my own user generated social tag to that. I've then gone into the system and taken that social tag, which one person did, and I promoted it to be a more universal, universally applicable tag that I've put into one of the official taxonomies that can be used across the entire uh, enterprise content management system as others are tagging documents, uh, PowerPoints, lists, whatever else they want to tag inside of a CMS. But I think that's a great way for a, a content management system like SharePoint to share social tags across the entire enterprise. Hope you enjoyed today's presentation. Again, my name is Mike Dome, principal owner of Term Management LLC, and I hope to talk to you soon.